building a double story property is the easiest way of throwing a whole bunch of money down the drain. Hey, listen, you can tell among this project, we're obviously building double story here. I thought I'll talk to you a little bit about the fact that when we build a double story property, whether it's a rooming house or whether it's any other type of property, we end up throwing a whole bunch of money down the drain. Now, what do I say that? To me, any money that goes to create structure or anything that goes inside the walls that doesn't provide functionality or amenity or durability, it's a waste of money. And maybe that's the engineer talking on me, but my uh, our design director, who's an architect, also thinks the same. That's why we've come up with the trademark term engineered architecture. Now, over here, you can see, you can actually see just here above me that there's a couple of those big beams over there, and you will see uh, some more on that side and some on that side and some just behind the door over there. Those beams, because they're steel, they cost a fortune. This particular property probably has about $20,000 in steel. Uh, in addition to that, they're hard to work with, they're complicated to work with, they slow the process down, and ultimately they make no difference to the way the house looks and feels once it's completed. In addition to that, if you're building a rooming house, if we're building a double-story rooming house, we also have to deal with the fact that there will be people up there walking through those uh, we call them posse struts, working through those beams, and then creating noise down here. So we need to insulate that. Now, no amount of insulation will take get, get rid of absolutely every single noise. We try to do our best, but how would will it be if there weren't any people up there? If you had sky over there, then you will not have to deal with any of that noise. Anyway, just wanted to share a little bit about the downside of building double story. Double story gets romanticized a lot. Sometimes it gets used a lot by people who know not a lot about property or who don't know necessarily the details of how these things work on the inside. So I thought I'll come on site today and talk to you about it. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of a perspective. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to post them below and I'll talk to many of you very, very soon.